Greetings to you all, grace and peace to you, and once again, welcome back to the channel. Pastor John here, lead pastor of Mooresville Free Methodist Church, and I know that I've been posting a lot of videos recently. There's just been a lot going on that I've really wanted to make sure to keep people updated on, and so if you have been keeping up with our recent videos, I do very much appreciate that. And if you're watching this video, please remember to leave us a like rating, and I would also appreciate if you at least consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. This video today will be a little bit shorter. I just wanted to give an update on something that I've mentioned in a couple of our recent videos regarding our church's response to the COVID-19 pandemic, and that is to let you know that we do have an online giving option available now using a service called Tithely. And so in this video, I'm just going to talk about that briefly and just give you a couple quick pointers on how you can make use of that online giving option. There are a couple of different ways you can make use of this service. One of the easiest is to visit our webpage, mooresvillefmchurch.org. When you're there, you can look in the top right corner and you'll see this button that says Give. Go ahead and click on that and it will open up this window within our webpage. Then you'll see in the top right corner of that window that there's a button that says Sign Up. You can use this to create an account if you've never used this service before. But there's also a way that you can do that at the end of making your donation. So you can skip that step for now if you want to. And just go right to where it says Give and enter the amount that you want to give. For this demonstration, let's just say you're going to give $10. Then you can designate a fund. We have our general fund available, our capital improvement fund, missions. And if you want to designate a fund that's not listed here, I recommend that you go ahead and click Other. And then there's an option towards the end of this form to enter a memo. And so you can designate the fund in that memo line. From there, you'll want to decide whether you want this to be a recurring gift or not. And you can decide how often you want this gift to recur and on what day of the week you want it to be deducted from your bank account or your card. Go ahead and enter your name and your email address. Then you can decide whether you want to give using a debit or credit card or if you want to enter your bank account information. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and enter the bank account information. Or if you're using a card, you can enter your card information. This button here is important. There is a fee associated with using this service that is charged to the church, and it is a percentage of the gifts that are given. And if you would rather cover those fees so that the church does not have to pay them, you can go ahead and click that button there, and it will automatically add the fee to your gift. You notice that when I click it, the donation goes from $10 to $10.61. And so you do have that option if you want to use it. Then, if you're designating a special fund, make sure you've selected Other in the drop-down menu above. And if you have, you can go ahead and type in the fund that you want to specify here. And then finally, if you haven't created an, an account yet, you can go ahead and click Remember Me and enter a password, or rather create a password, and a PIN. Just remember not to share your password or your PIN with anybody. And then the next time you give, it'll make this much easier. You will not have to enter your card information or your bank account information. You can just enter your PIN and that information will already be entered for you. And then finally, you go ahead and click give. And once you've done that, our church will receive your gift and you will get a receipt in your email. And of course, all gifts and donations that are given are very much appreciated. Giving through the web page is a great option. Another option that's great, super easy and convenient, is if you have a smartphone, as I'm sure that many of you do, there is a free Tithely app available for both Android and iPhone operating systems. So you can go to your Google Play Store or your Apple App Store and download the free Tithely app. Once you've downloaded the app, it's super easy to open it, to go in and create a Tithely account, to enter your debit or credit card information or your bank account information, whichever you prefer, to find our church and to start giving. It's so easy, in fact, that even as I'm filming this video, I'm paying my tithe. I've already downloaded the Tithely app 
created an account and entered my debit card information. Right now, I'm pushing the cover fees button and just like that, I just paid my tithe. So it really is that easy to use. Something that I mentioned in a previous video is that I know many of you who might be watching this really do love this church a lot. And one of the many ways that you show that love is through your financial support, which is always needed and always appreciated. It's important during this pandemic that we all remember our financial commitment to the church. This is a time where we want everybody to stay safe and stay healthy. And we want all of our friends and loved ones to survive this pandemic. Well, we want the church to survive as well. And so it's my hope that by adding this online giving option, I can just make it easier on people who want to give. Not only now, but also down the road once we're no longer concerned about this pandemic. Now, I know there are some of you who would rather not give using an online option, and that's just fine. Some of you have already been sending your financial gifts to the church. I want you to know that we have been receiving those. They are very much appreciated. And that's fine if you do want to send your gifts in that way rather than using an online giving option. There's no problem with that. Just make sure you follow the same guidelines you usually would. Things like you should never send cash through the mail and so on. So however you choose to give, that's just fine. And oh, look at that. Just double checking. Yep. I did get my email confirmation from my tithe that I paid just a few moments ago. Now, that's about all I really had for this video. I hope this was helpful. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you on our live stream this coming Sunday at 10 a.m. As always, remember that you can send us your prayer requests. Make sure that you're following us on Twitter, that you've liked our Facebook page. And so until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. God bless you all.